All right, you ready? Here we go. Let's have some fun. My, my bad, I know. All right, one more, one more. I've got another ball. I don't make a lot of these, so just give me a second. Oh, you almost had it. Come on, keep running. You got it. Here we go. Yeah, I think I won the warm up. Hey, what's happening, guys? It is Nate from Player Court. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly feed the ball to get the point started. All right, there are a lot of ways that you can feed the tennis ball, and there's a lot of them that are very wrong. Today, I'm gonna help you figure out the right way to, to feed the ball if you don't know how, or maybe you're getting into coaching and you need some help. But today's video is for player court members of all skill levels. We can all improve this. It's a skill that we all need. If you want your own player court rating, check out the link below. You can check out the community for free. All right, so feeding the tennis ball, all right? We shouldn't be doing it with semi-Western grips. We want to be doing this with a continental grip. Occasionally a variation of the Eastern is correct. Let's jump into the action. I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when really trying to get an efficient feed is you're going to want to start off on a continental grip. All right, and we'll link a video about the continental grip, but just remember the web of your hand should be on bevel one or the very, very top. You should be able to read the manufacturer of your racket. It's referred to as the shake hands grip, even the chopper grip, the same way you're gonna hold a hammer. All right, so what the continental grip is gonna do, you'll notice that it's gonna allow you to open the face of the racket. All right, and now from here, what we're doing is we're just using compact, short movements to feed the ball. I don't wanna be taking these big swings. I, I really should have no backswing because if I'm back here, it gets really hard to control the trajectory. So what I'll do is I'll start with the racket out in front and I'm gonna lay the racket back. Now as I move forward to make contact with the ball, I'm going to squeeze the grip with my bottom two, maybe three fingers to control how fast the racket moves. So you'll see some coaches or some players almost bunting to where they're going and holding the ball, right? Or you'll see a little bit of a follow through. That's my preferred, I'll give it a little bit of a follow through. All right, because remember the goal here is to be cooperative. If I'm starting the point, or I'm sorry, if I'm starting the warm up, right? I wanna give my opponent a cooperative ball. If I'm out training, I wanna give my friend a cooperative ball. Now, if I'm coaching, I can mix it up. It's still cooperative, especially if I'm trying to, to get rhythm, right? I'll keep it nice and low. I'll probably be serving, I'll probably be feeding from the service line, right? I'm gonna be able to control the environment better from there. But I'm gonna be using these short movements. Now, if I want this student to work on top spin, I'm just gonna work on the trajectory a little bit to where I'm working under the ball. And you'll see there the rocket tip finishes up as I'm trying to get top spin. If that's specifically what I'm working on, specifically. I struggle with that word. All right, but so if I'm working on backspin, I'm gonna work through the same movement. I'm just gonna carve under the ball to keep that low, keep the ball nice and low. But at the end of the day, if I'm just trying to be cooperative, I don't want a ton of spin on the ball. I wanna work through the court. You can tell there it's almost like a little side spin, all right? Ball's not moving a ton, it's not slice, it's not top spin. You know, the ball's gonna spin because of physics, but I wanna keep that nice and controlled. All right, so to review it, when you're starting off to feed, keep the ball out in front of you, all right, just a little bit, continental grip, no backswing, working through the front, and as the rocket pushes through, give the, the grip a little bit of a squeeze, all right, and if you're being cooperative, you don't want spin. If you're coaching or you're working with something, someone or something specific, low to high for a little bit of top spin, a little bit high low, for backspin, all right? But don't be the guy, the, 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 the lady out there that's bouncing the ball off the ground, then hitting it, or taking those ridiculous swing volleys and ripping topspin because you're not controlling an environment. You're making it really, really difficult. All right, guys, really hope today's video helped start making those feeds more efficient. And remember, feeding is a skill. All right, it's not always great that coaches are feeding. If, if a coach is feeding the whole time in a lesson, that's not wonderful. The kids or the students should be learning to feed as well because it's a skill, right? Our slices get better, our volleys get better. So make sure you're using that continental grip and working on those feeds. We really appreciate you watching today. 
If you think someone needs help with their feed, right, maybe you share this video, but definitely hit that like button and subscribe. It helps the business a ton. And we'll see you next time here at Player Corp.